Hi, this is Dave Turetsky. I'm a professor in the Computer Science Department at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm also the chair of the AI for K-12 initiative. The goal of the AI for K-12 initiative is to develop national guidelines for teaching artificial intelligence in grades K-12. to We divide these grades into four grade bands, K-2, to 3-5, to 6-8, and 9 to 12. For each grade band, the guidelines specify what students should know about AI and what they should be able to do. The organizing framework for the guidelines is a list of five big ideas in AI, which you can see in this graphic. The first big idea is perception. Computers perceive the world using sensors. Perception is the extraction of meaning from sensory signals. A microphone records sound, but that's just sensing. Extracting the speech, the meaning from the sound, that's perception. Speech recognition is an example of computer perception. When you talk to your phone, to an assistant like Siri or Alexa, you are using speech recognition software. Computer vision is another example of perception. Computer vision takes many forms. For example, face recognition allows computers to detect faces and images and even recognize specific people some phones now allow you to use your face to unlock the phone. Another type of computer vision is object recognition. This allows a self-driving car to recognize other vehicles, pedestrians, and traffic signs. The second big idea is representation and reasoning. Intelligent agents maintain representations of the world and use them for reasoning. For example, when a computer plays a game like chess or Go, its representation is the positions of the pieces on the board, and its reasoning algorithm tries to find the best move to make next. Representation and reasoning are complementary. Representations support reasoning algorithms. Reasoning algorithms operate on representations. Here are some more examples of representation and reasoning. In a self-driving car, the representation would include a map of the city and a description of the scene around the car, that is, the other cars that are nearby at the moment. The reasoning algorithm's job is to find the best route to the destination and determine when it's safe to pass or change lanes. When you use an internet search engine, like Google or Bing, the representation is a description of the various web pages the search engine has indexed, and the reasoning algorithm tries to find those web pages that are the best match for the query that you've submitted. When you use a recommendation system like Netflix, there's a representation for the different movies that Netflix knows about, and there's a representation for the various customers and the kinds of movies they like. The reasoning algorithm tries to find movies that are like the movies that you like, or movies that are liked by people who are similar to you that you haven't seen yet. The third big idea is learning. Computers can learn from data. Some people think machine learning and artificial intelligence are the same thing, but that's not correct. As you see here, machine learning is only one area of artificial intelligence, but it is a very important area. You interact with machine learning systems when you train your phone to recognize your face, or when Netflix learns what movies you like. Industrial applications of machine learning include speech recognition. Modern speech recognizers work very well because they've been trained with machine learning on thousands of hours of speech by hundreds of different speakers. 
Another application of machine learning is language translation. Google can now translate between a hundred different languages. Language translators are trained by exposing them to examples of the same text in two or more languages. The fourth big idea is natural interaction. Intelligent agents require many types of knowledge to interact naturally with humans. One important area of big idea number four is natural language understanding. Human language is very rich, but filled with ambiguity. It may contain imagery, humor, or sarcasm. Understanding what people are talking about is challenging for computers. Another topic in big idea number four is human emotion. This includes understanding when a person might be happy, sad, or frustrated, and recognizing emotional states from cues such as tone of voice, facial expression, and body language. A third component of big idea number four is common sense reasoning. People rely heavily on common sense knowledge to resolve ambiguity. For example, if I told you Maria has fish in her office, you'll probably think of a fish tank. But if I say Maria has a giraffe in her office, you're more likely to think this is a toy giraffe or perhaps a picture of a giraffe. But if I said Maria has a giraffe at her zoo, then you'll think it's a real giraffe. Making these kinds of common sense inferences is trivial for humans, but quite challenging for artificial intelligence systems. The fifth big idea is societal impact. Artificial intelligence can impact society in both positive and negative ways. Consider the example of autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars will provide mobility to many people who cannot drive themselves and self-driving trucks will lead to new efficiencies in the transportation industry. But people who make their living from driving will lose their jobs. The ethical application of artificial intelligence technologies is receiving a lot of attention today, and this is also part of big idea number five. When artificial intelligence is used to make decisions about people, such as who gets a mortgage or who gets a job interview, it's important to assure that this decision-making process is transparent and does not contain unwarranted biases against particular groups of people. This summary of the big ideas gives you the big picture, but there's much more to be said on these topics. To learn more, visit our website at aifork12.org.